So last week while I was traveling home, I saw this beautiful scene outside the window of the bus that I was traveling in. And, and I was flabbergasted. So I, I didn't have my camera, I took my phone out and took this shot. And it's not shot on iPhone, just a simple Moto G4. So I had this intention of posting it on Instagram straight away. But then my Photoshop instincts kicked in and I transformed this image to this one. Hi everybody, this is Anmesha and today we are going to learn how to create realistic reflections in water in Photoshop. Coming up. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and do our thing. So I have imported this image, the link to which I'll post in the description so that you, my friend, can work on it. So one of the first things that we want to fix in this image is that it's a little bit tilted, so let's fix the tilted image. So what do we do? Select the crop tool or press C. The crop tool loads up. Now we can either go ahead and rotate this to the point where we like the image is straightened or what we can do, we can tell Photoshop, okay, so this is a straight line in the image, take that, uh, take that as a reference and use that to straighten the image. For example, in this image, this is a straight line right the where uh, the point where the mountain meets water right so what if we tell photoshop okay this is a straight line take that as a reference and straighten that line and accordingly the whole image will be straightened so to do that we would click this make sure this is clicked straighten and drag a straight line right from this edge to that edge okay and accordingly Facebook, uh, Facebook, <laughs> Photoshop straightens up this image, then press enter. So once we are done with that, we need to clear the distractions that are there in the water. So in this scene, as you can see, there are these distractions which we don't need. This is uh, one of the things that we don't need in this. So how do we go about it? How do we remove it? So to remove it, it is extremely simple. Let's go ahead and select the healing brush tool or the spot healing, let's try doing it with the spot healing brush tool and let's just simply paint over this. Let's see what happens. So it has not done a pretty good job of doing it, it has left some things right in the edge. So it's not quite working well. So when the spot healing brush tool doesn't work, you should always switch back to healing brush tool. When you're a healing brush tool, you need to tell Photoshop that sample from here and cover it with that sample. So uh, press and hold alt and click here. We want to tell Photoshop that okay you sample it from here and replace this section using this section as a reference. Let's click here. Once you click here simply paint over this area and we are good to go. So just now uh, Photoshop showed, uh, showed a message that low disk on C. So you might come across this message time and again. Uh, this is what happens when scratch disks are full. This is what happens when your C drive is full. So your first solution to this would be go to edit and purge, go to all. Click OK and you're good to go. Okay, so this was a short tip in between. So let's clear this, select the same healing brush tool and Press and hold Alt, select this as a sample and simply paint over this. So it's also gone. Now the water is clear, we can create the reflection. So the next thing that we have to do is to we have to create a mirror image of the sky into the water. To do that, select the rectangular marquee tool, okay, and make a selection to the point where you want your reflection to start from. Okay, so for this, let's select the point where the mountain uh, meets water. Okay, once we do that, press Ctrl plus J. Okay, if you're using a Mac, press Command and J. Now, press Ctrl T, Command T if you're using a Mac. This loads up the free transform tool. Right click on it and select flip vertical. Okay, bring it down, bring it down, and to the point where your reflection is starting. Okay, press Enter. Now, this creates an exact mirror image of the sky into the water. We don't want that. We don't want uh, a mirror to be placed beneath the mountains. We want water to be placed. So we need to make it a little bit water-ish. So how do we go about it? We, we would go to filter, blur gallery and path blur. So let's zoom in a little bit. 
okay so now it's blurring in this direction we don't want that we want it to blur in this direction 90 degrees okay so this looks like water so we can always edit these values and uh, we want the speed speed the amount of speed controls the amount of blur that your subject has so let's uh, make the speed to be a little bit lesser I think 50 would, would have been a good number okay what what did I do okay let's let's move it to 50 45 ish it's a good number then end point speed you can always play with the sliders to find out which one works great for you okay so let's keep it around 231 this one is okay and taper yep it's doing fine let's click OK click OK and let Photoshop process the blur now this path blur is one of the slowest filters in Photoshop it takes the most time to be applied so let me speed up so that we are done with it so as you can see it has done a brilliant job in blurring out the water but there are a few more finishing touches that we can do to this to make it look more realistic so what's next that we can do we want the Sun to shine through the water so how do we get that so let's make a duplicate copy of this layer of the background layer okay so let's make a duplicate copy of the background layer so next what we are going to do is we are going to blur this too and this time we are not going to use path blur we are going to use motion blur so I've turned this water layer off and we have to blur this so see when the Sun shines through calm water what happens is the Sun shines also in a blurry manner so it shines in a horizontal blur pattern so let me show you how so let me turn this layer off and let me blur this background so I'll go filter and this time blur and motion blur you can also use path blur but that gets hardware intensive for this example I will use motion blur it's kind of fast but it's not as good as path blur so we are going to blur it in angle 0 don't do 90 degree okay make sure the angle is 0 and it's blurring this way increase the value to around at a place where the Sun really looks uh, nice shining through the water 130 is a good place to be press OK okay now we have created the water layer and beneath it the blur layer what if we tell Photoshop okay make that part of this layer water layer invisible where the Sun shines so that we can see the Sun shining through the water so let's do that so let's turn this layer back on and let's right click go to blending options okay and let's pull this slider a little bit to this side to the point where you think the Sun is completely shining okay so this is looking good but as you can see the transition of the Sun and the water is not very smooth it's harsh so press and hold alt or option in Mac click here the slider will divide divide into two parts so let's pull the sliders apart this makes the transition very smooth so now it looks good okay so let's pull this a little bit to this side and let's pull this there's a click okay and we are good to go but as you can see that along along with the water the sky has also turned blurry why because this we, we also had blurred the sky there so what do we do now what if we erase the sky from this layer then we have then we'll have the original sky won't we so let's to erase the sky simply select this layer okay now the water is selected now this let's select this layer and create the mask button what happens is in this layer only the water which is blurred is visible right now let's turn this layer back on and we are ready to rock the image now the image is already rocking but we can add a lot more details to it if you have observed water in lakes or ponds or somewhere else you might have observed that the water is a little bit darker than the reflection darker than the, than the thing that is reflecting right so we need to make it a little bit darker and a bit more vibrant so how do we do that go to filter and uh, camera raw filter 
it's loading yes it's loaded the camera raw filter let's make it a little bit darker maybe 0 0.4 ish yeah it's doing a great job and let's increase the vibrance a little bit 30 would be a good number to be 25 the 25 let's make it 25 and click OK now it looks more realistic you can always go ahead and add a little bit more clarity to the image let's let's merge all the layers and create a new merged layer to do that press and hold Control, alt shift and e in mac it would be command option shift and e now this is a complete layer merging all the layers that are beneath now we, whatever filters that we apply in this layer will be applied to the image as a whole let's go to filter camera raw filter and let's add a little bit of color and drama to the image to do that simply increase the clarity a little bit maybe a little bit more 40 is good number to be and then increase the magenta a little bit now and now it looks colorful now it looks colorful you can increase the temperature too a little bit just a little bit click ok and now we have a super image ready to hit Instagram so let's jump into Photoshop and let's look at the before and after for the one last time so let's group in all the layers control G this was before and this is after now this is much better a million times better than the original footage that we had captured in the phone so time to wrap up that's all for today hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i insist that you try this with your images in photoshop and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe till then happy photoshopping and stay tuned